Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my fangirl favorites of February 2016. So let's talk about the Oscars, you guys. The date that I am filming this video, the Oscars have actually not aired yet. <laughs> but still, I, I wanted to just talk about the Oscars and uh, some of the movies that I've managed to see. I really look forward to the Oscars every year. Maybe that makes me a weirdo. I always just like seeing what movies are going to be nominated that year. And I always try to make a big point of trying to see all of the movies, uh, which doesn't always happen. I, I don't live in a major big city. Uh, 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 sometimes it can take a long time for the movies to even come to my theaters, if they come at all. But yeah, as far as some of the um, Oscar movies that I managed to see, I did manage to see The Big Short, Brooklyn, The Martian, The Revenant, and Room. So I managed to see five of the eight, which is good, I think. So just to go through all of the big picture nominees, uh, The Big Short, uh, I... That was okay. I didn't really like it that much, to be honest. I was a little bit bored. I think a lot of the subject matter, it just flew over my head, to be honest. Uh, it kind of made me feel a little stupid. <laughs> I did never get around to Bridge of Spies, which is a shame, because Bridge of Spies did come to my theaters, but I think it came out when there were so many other movies out, and yeah, it just kind of got pushed to the side for whatever reason, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm sad that I didn't get to see Bridge of Spies because that definitely looks like the type of movie I personally enjoy, you know, a historical film. Brooklyn, yeah guys, oh my god, I, I adore Brooklyn, you guys. Uh, oh, it's just such a beautiful, wonderful film and Saoirse Ronan, wow, just an amazing performance from Saoirse Ronan, just a stunning film, you know, beautiful coloring and uh, just a historical detail, and yeah, the themes and messages presented in it, just such an absolutely gorgeous, heartwarming, heart-gripping story. Mad Max, you guys, oh god, Mad Max came out, what, over the, the summer? Mad Max is just not my type of movie. It looked when I first saw the trailers, I was like, "Oh, what the fuck? This looks so stupid and ridiculous." But then, out of nowhere, everyone loves Mad Max. Apparently, it, it's like the greatest movie ever. It's like, what did I miss? Apparently, I need to watch Mad Max. The thing is, I'm not looking forward to watching it though. But I, f I feel like I need to force myself to watch it to see what the big deal is because I don't understand what the big deal is. I don't know why it's even nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> Maybe that's just a bit of me being a bit of a film snob. I don't know. I just don't see what it is about Mad Max that's so special. So yeah, I need to force, force myself to watch the movie at some point to see what the big deal is. The Martian! Oh my god, you guys. The Martian. I loved The Martian. Wow. Uh, I definitely want to pick up the book now. Just such a great movie. Uh, even though there was a lot of big concepts in it, you know, a lot of science and math, the thing is the movie did everything in such a way that I, I understood, you know? It all made sense to me once they, they explained everything for stupid people like me. And yeah, just how how have people been describing the Martian like castaway in space? <laughs> Which is what it was. And yeah, the whole movie is just basically Matt Damon trapped on Mars. And it was so gripping and thrilling and suspenseful. And talk about all the great humor. Yeah, all the humor in the movie. Definitely my type of humor. <laughs> just recently got around to seeing The Revenant finally. Wow, The Revenant. The Revenant's one of those movies that I'll probably only see it the one time. <laughs> it's it's a really it's a really brutal watch. Let me be honest. It's really it's really tough to watch. Some of the the scenes are quite graphic and brutal, and I mean it really takes an emotional toll on you by the end of the movie. It's not a fun movie. Let's get that out of the way. The Revenant is not a fun movie. You don't go to the Revenant for for entertainment purposes. <laughs> But Leonardo DiCaprio, though, wow, I can see why he's getting so much uh, buzz, you know, in his performance, because Leonardo DiCaprio, he only says a few lines of dialogue in the whole movie. The whole movie is mostly just 
the facial acting more than anything that that you can read everything going on in his face and his eyes and his body language which i think if, if you can do that as an actor then then that makes you super amazing <laughs> and just overall talented if you can express emotion through just your eyes and your face and your body language room wow i think room out of all of the the nominees i think room might be my favorite and then followed by um Brooklyn. Even though Room is about a woman who was kidnapped and she's trapped in this this shed with her son who who is is born from the man raping her essentially. Even though it's a pretty dark subject matter, the thing about Room is that there's still something about it that's very hopeful. You know, it's about the world and it's about hope and it's about the future. You know, I, which sounds weird, you know, considering it's about a woman who's been kidnapped. <laughs> but the thing is, Room is not all about the the woman, Brie Larson's character. It's not all about her in some ways. It's more about the boy and the boy experiencing the world for the first time, which was just so I don't know, just so emotional and very gripping, you know? It makes you almost take your own life for granted. <laughs> so then that leaves Spotlight being last. Ah, oh God, I am, I'm dying to see Spotlight since it, it seems like Spotlight is most likely going to win Best Picture because it's, it's for the most part, been winning Best Picture for all these other award shows. And yeah, oh, I can't believe I haven't seen Spotlight yet. It, kind of like The Revenant, I have a feeling Spotlight is going to be a pretty rough viewing experience that you're not going for entertainment value, you know? <laughs> but still, definitely want to get get my hands on that somehow. So then that leaves just a few other movies. Uh, these being ones maybe like in the best uh, actor or best actress. They're not in the best picture category. I definitely wish I had got around to seeing Carol, The Danish Girl, Steve Jobs, Joy, and 45 Years. Uh, none of those movies came to my theater, my theaters, unfortunately, which is a shame. But yeah, I th out of those, I think I, I definitely really want to see Carol and Danish Girl the most. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, uh, Oscars. Are you all Oscar nerds like me? Do you try to see as many of the Best Picture nominees as possible? <laughs> and yeah, from, from the list of nominees, what have you seen? What did you think of all of them? And you guys, no fangirl favorites video is complete without Funko Pops. So I have a few here to share with you guys. I got Elizabeth and Darcy from Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I haven't even seen the movie yet, but I, I, was, I was absolutely thrilled to see these two. The only way I'll ever have Elizabeth and Darcy as Funko Pops. Also got Tigress and Poe from Kung Fu Panda. I mean, seriously, look how freaking adorable these two are. Ugh. Also got Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots is definitely my favorite character from all of the Shrek movies, and I love his little solo movie. Just look at him. Oh! <laughs> and then I also got Davy Jones and Elizabeth Swan from Pirates of the Caribbean. I did also get Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Barbosa. And where's Will, you guys? Where's Will Turner? I can't believe they don't have a Will Turner. Jesus. But yeah, these two are my favorites from the collection. Especially Davy Jones with his little squid face. <laughs> and you guys, I was at this candy store where they specialize in like a bunch of rare, unique, exotic candies. And I found this set of Shakespearean insult gum. And that's what it looks like. It's these little boxes. These little boxes. And inside is a piece of gum and also an insult. So that's what I wanted to do here at the end of this video is open one up because I haven't opened them yet. I've purposely left them unopened for this video. But yeah, just to show you guys uh, which plays are in here, we have Richard III, Othello, Romeo and Juliet, King Lear, Henry V, Hamlet, and Macbeth. So which one should I start with, you guys? I think I'll start with, like, my favorite play. My favorite play, oh god, which one is it? Hamlet or Macbeth? Oh, I love both. I'll start with Macbeth. Let's start with Macbeth, you guys. <laughs> How does it come out? Okay. Oh, I got a, a white and yellow piece. So let's get the insult. I want to see what the insult is. Oh, let's put these in my mouth first, though. It's gum, after all. 
How do you get the insult? I see it. You, you have to rip you have to rip open the package in order to see it. I thought there would be like a little piece of paper. Mm, this gum is pretty tasty though. <laughs> oh damn it. I ripped up. I ripped it up. Oh, this is a big disaster, you guys. Oh wait, this is stupid. Okay, I opened up the Macbeth piece, okay? I'm, I opened up the Macbeth piece, but inside is a Romeo and Juliet insult. What the hell? Okay, God, it's hard to talk and chew gum at the same time, you guys. <laughs> okay, this is what the Shakespearean old insult says. Despised substance of divinest show. What does that mean? <laughs> I have to look that one up. That doesn't sound like an insult. I plan on doing this every month, you guys. Open up one of these Shakespearean insult gums. Chewing. And trying to read Shakespeare at the same time. So, yeah, that's it for this month's fangirl favorites. In the comments below, what kind of movies, television, music, video games, anything nerdy, you guys. Just share with me things that you enjoyed this month down below. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you liked this video, you may like these other videos. Bye, guys.